Over the past few years, I've been creating videos mainly geared towards Synology's NAS platform, but I'm also a big fan of their routers as well. Like their NASes, Synology routers provide an intuitive web-based user interface called Synology Router Manager, or SRM, which makes interacting with and configuring the routers simple and straightforward. I also like that Synology routers provide advanced features like parental controls, security and intrusion prevention, various VPN options, including a site-to-site -site VPN, and network segmentation with VLANs. You can even create a mesh network pairing Synology routers together. I'll be releasing other videos going forward covering these advanced features as well as setting up a mesh network, but for this video, I'll be doing an initial Synology router setup to get you up and running. As of the recording of this video, Synology has four routers on the market, and I'll be configuring an RT6600AX, which is their tri-band Wi-Fi 6 router. I'll begin by connecting my ISP modem via an RJ45 cable to the WAN port on the back of the router. Then I'll plug in the power adapter and press the power button to turn on the router. Once the WAN, Wi-Fi, and status lights on the router are green, it should be running and you'll be able to connect to it via Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi SSID that you'll need to connect to starts with Synology and ends with the last six characters of the router serial number. The default password is Synology, all in lowercase. Once connected, bring up a new browser window and go to the IP address 192.168.1.1, which should bring you to this Synology router setup window. From here, click Start to begin the setup process. You'll then need to agree to the Synology End User License Agreement and click Next. From this window, you can either allow Synology to collect data usage information by selecting Agree or click Skip to not allow data to be collected. Next, you'll need to create an administrator account by entering in a username and password you'd like to use. From the Set Up Your Wi Fi window, enter in a Wi Fi name or SSID you'd like to use, along with a password, then click Apply. This will apply the changes you've made, and in a couple of minutes, you should see this window with details on connecting to the Wi-Fi network and a link to connect to SRM. Now you'll want to connect to your Synology router's Wi-Fi network once again using its new SSID and password. Then click the Go to SRM link to bring up the router's web management interface. You can now log in with the administrator username and password you created earlier to log on to SRM for the first time. At this point, you'll come to this SRM Quick Setup Wizard. You can run through this to detect your internet connection and make any necessary changes, especially if you need to set up your internet connection manually. You can also set up automatic updates, which I recommend for installing important updates. Additionally, you can configure Quick Connect so you can manage your router from anywhere. To do this, you'll need to log on with your Synology account and enter a Quick Connect ID you'd like to use. Once the setup is complete, you can either click Explore SRM or add a Wi-Fi router or access point if you have another Synology router you'd like to use to create a mesh Wi-Fi network. For now, I'd suggest clicking Explore SRM. In my case, I have an update available which I'll install later, so I'll click Update Later, and then click through the Welcome to SRM window to display the different features and options available. Once done, I'll click OK. A couple of things I like doing after an initial setup are first go to Control Panel, select System, then SRM Settings, and change the server name to something more meaningful. I also like enabling the option to automatically redirect HTTP connections to HTTPS so that I always use 
HTTPS when connecting to the router. Next, under Control Panel once again, select Notification and enable some sort of notification so you're informed of any issues with the router. For this video, I'll enable email notifications through Gmail using an app password. You can set up an app password by following the instructions from this Google account help page, which I'll link to in the description below. Lastly, I'll bring up System again, select Update and Restore, click Download, then Update Now to install the latest version of SRM on the router. Once the update is complete and the router has rebooted, you'll have a fully set up Sanashi router accessible either locally or through Quick Connect. Hopefully this video helped you set up your Synology router and consider subscribing and enable notifications if you'd like to be informed about new Synology router videos as I release them. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me to assist with setting up a Synology router on your network, check out the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.